Hi, this is Steve Breakstone, co-author of the book, How to Stop Bullying and Social Aggression. In this video, we will discuss excerpts from Chapter 8, Playful Teasing vs. Hurtful Taunting, also known as Playful Teasing vs. Too Much Teasing. Sometimes kids tease each other as a way to be funny. Of course, sometimes they mean to tease, but wind up being insensitive and hurtful. The offensive comments are simply accidental, and sometimes not so accidental. Sometimes they use hurtful humor. So to help minimize these accidental or not-so-accidental comments, we strongly suggest getting kids and adults on the same page of what the difference is between teasing and taunting. Teasing is a playful use of humor which brings people together, lightens a mood, enhances a relationship, and makes people laugh. A good sense of humor means being able to make people laugh without hurting anyone's feelings. A funny person who can playfully tease another is usually popular and able to maintain healthy friendships. But if someone's feelings are hurt, even though others may be laughing, it is not considered a good use of humor. It can get even trickier when someone makes a comment that offends someone, on purpose or accidentally, and then follows up with one or more of the following comments. Oh, lighten up. You're too sensitive. I was just kidding. I didn't mean anything by it. Can't you take a joke? I'm just teasing you. Well, then the question is, is the person who made the comment just trying to get out of being accused of purposely hurting someone's feelings? Or was it really innocent, and they are reluctant to just admit the mistake and apologize? And the person to whom it was directed has to decide if they were being overly sensitive or had good reason to be upset. It can be very tricky to navigate this complicated use of humor. So here are bullet points to consider if words and actions are teasing. Playful teasing. The teaser and the person being teased can easily swap roles. It maintains everybody's dignity. It pokes fun in a light-hearted, clever, and harmless way. It is meant to get both parties to laugh. And it stop when the person being teased becomes upset or objects to the teasing. It is hurtful taunting when it has one or more of the following qualities. It is intended to harm. It involves humiliating, cruel, demeaning, or bigoted comments thinly disguised as jokes. There's an imbalance of power and is one-sided. And it continues even when the targeted person becomes upset or says, stop. When we work with students, first we discuss the developmentally appropriate definition of these two words and then follow up with some lively discussion through relatable scenarios. The following scenarios can be discussed one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. I especially like small group discussion among peers as they learn from each other, and I found that the groups almost always get it right. So we ask, do you think the following situation is playful, playful teasing or hurtful taunting? And which parts of the story helped you determine your opinion? As a new student, Bart was still trying to fit in and make friends. At lunch, someone slid a whoopee cushion on Bart's seat, and it made a farting sound when he sat down. The other kids started calling Bart, Bart the Fart. Bart asked people to stop calling him Bart the Fart, and they did. Now they call him Fathead Farty. Bart is miserable. And here's another. Debbie is six inches taller than the next tallest student in her grade. A girl, sitting with a bunch of other students, said, Hey, Shorty, how's the weather up there? Debbie rolled her eyes and half smiled at the lame use of humor. Then the girl said, Debbie, sit with us and tell us about that basketball camp you went to. Debbie sat down at the table and said, Okay, little people, let me tell you about meeting 7 foot 1 inch Shaquille O'Neal. So, playful teasing or hurtful taunting? In addition, there are some things we suggest almost never teasing another person about, such as someone's religion or race. But instead of me stating all the dangerous things to tease someone about in your community, here's a good idea for a lesson and discussion. Write down the following on paper or perhaps the board. Topics people shouldn't tease or taunt about. Someone's religion, someone's race, and you see there are extra dots. Then individually or in groups of two or three, discuss what topics others should not be teased about, even with the best of intentions. Teaching students to consider the difference between teasing or taunting will help them develop a deeper understanding of respect and empathy, an appropriate sense of humor, and healthy interpersonal relationships.
It's also a good way to teach new vocabulary and spelling words. These lessons can also help students of all ages understand the difference between bullying or play fighting and flirting versus sexual harassment. But for now, I'll leave it with the very challenging concept of teasing versus taunting. For more thoughts about all these concepts and more scenarios to discuss with children, read the book How to Stop Bullying and Social Aggression. It shares research-based, practical, realistic, detailed strategies and fun lessons and activities to teach the behaviors we want our kids to develop, such as empathy, friendship, respect, and resiliency. For more information, contact me, Steve, at sbreakstone at comcast.net or Mike Dryblatt at info at balanceeducationalservices.com.